Today, we've got a great show lined up. We're targeting Seven Gill in the San Francisco Bay and anything else that'll buy our lines. Later on in the show, we're headed to Sororo Lake in Arizona. So stick around. This is going to be a great show and you definitely don't want to miss it. I didn't get much sleep last night. You know why? Because I was so excited that I'm going shark fishing today. And right now I'm in the South San Francisco Bay and Captain Jason is looking on the graph right now to find the fish. I promise the shark won't take me overboard. <laughs> now look at this. We're using some wrought iron hooks and 200 pound leader. On their first cast, Tammy hooked up. You see that? It wasn't the seven gill she'd hoped for. That's cool. But she was pleasantly surprised. Holy cow. For this was her first time ever seeing and catching a leopard shark. Well, it looks like they're off to a great start. So how are they doing it? As you know, we're on anchor fishing for the sharks. Uh, very important to have your bait on the bottom or near the bottom. I like to use a nice heavy weight, um, anywhere from four to 12 ounces. I find if uh, the current's so strong that 12 ounces doesn't hold the bottom, then it's too much. Too much current, we gotta go somewhere with a little less water. Set it up on a slider, nice heavy duty barrel swivel. And then for your leader, since uh, we're fishing the seven gills and the soup fin this type of year, and they got real big teeth, I either go with the 200 pound test mono leader, or I like to use this uh, cable. And this is a 200 pound cable. It's got a thin little, uh, little coating over the top just to make it soft, and a nice big 13 knot owner hook. Uh, real important that you use a big, big wide gap hook for these fish because their their jaws are so big, this, especially the seven gills. Some of their jaw bones are, are a good inch around and without a big wide gap hook, you're just not gonna get the penetration that you need. But that's the basic setup and that'll catch you anywhere from seven gills, soup fins and the leopard sharks. Tammy had a heart set on catching a seven gill. Can't believe this day's really here. So again and again, she was reeling in, hoping it was the big one. So Tammy's hitting me up for some secrets here. She wants to know my favorite baits. Uh, shark fishing, shark fishing is awesome for bait because you can use whatever you have left over in the freezer, whatever they have at the bait shop, all of it works. My particular favorite, I like to use mackerel and I like to use squid. Those are my two favorites. Sometimes I brine them, sometimes I dye them. Sometimes I'll take leftover bait from other trips and I'll mash it all up and I'll put it into a sack. You want just bites in action, nothing beats squid. On her second hookup, she caught what Jason called a dogfish. He's gonna grow up to be a big one. A dogfish is just a small shark. It can be any species of shark. However, it is just a small shark. That is one greedy little shark there. Today we have another kind of shark. It's called a stickleback. Looks just like this, except it's got a great big thorn that sticks out of the back here. No way. And when you take the hook out, sharks do this. And he sticks that thorn right in you. Oh my God, it hurts. Uh -oh. Just below the surface of the San Francisco Bay are several species of sharks. And today, the crew is seeking seven gills with Captain Jason of Longfin Sport Fishing. Tammy's caught two sharks and is hooked up again. It's very exhausting. Could this be the seven gill? It's a skate, all that for a big old skate? You gotta be kidding me. After releasing the skate, not much time had passed before they hooked up doubles. They had finally found the seven gill. Oh, is he gonna bite me? No, no, no. no. He's just a baby. We're gonna let him go and let him grow up. It's been like this all morning, nonstop action. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> we've already landed six or seven fish. It's well, we've been fishing an hour and a half. Look at all the splashes on that camera. <laughs> okay, let me wipe that. Now with the courage of holding a seven gill, she was ready to handle a leopard shark. So she thought. These guys, these sharks, these leopard sharks have the sharpest teeth. 
that's what I'm not about to mess around. <laughs> Evading the tail and teeth definitely qualifies this shark as picture worthy. Well done, well done. <laughs> we just caught a seven gill. It's not a monster, but it is a nice one. Let's take a closer look at the teeth on these seven gills. The top teeth are very sharp and pointy, and that's for getting a strong hold on their prey. The bottom teeth are flat and serrated and acts like a saw cutting right through their prey. Those big baits don't even stand a chance. Later on, Tammy hooked up with a monster. It was so big, it was spooling her. All they could hear was... I'll try to slow it down just a bit. I see. What did you hook? <gasps> real, 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 he's coming at oh, us he's now. he's still on, okay. Yeah. He's gonna spool us. This fish quickly turned and now was heading straight towards the boat. Real, 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 oh, real fast, real fast, fast, real fast, real fast. He's coming at us, he's coming at us, real fast. Is he still on? He's... Yeah. yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, he's still there. yes, he's still on. I'm, I'm hoping big, big soup then. This is fighting like a big soup then. That was 200, 250 yards he just took out in about 15 seconds. Real, 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 real. He's coming at us again. He's coming at us again real fast. And then, all of a sudden, I think I felt the bro's foot break off. Yeah. Oh. The line loosened up with slack. An opportunity that doesn't come around every day is now gone. The chance at that big one had vanished. That was oh, a monster. Really that was as big as they come oh. right there. I felt that just snap out of his mouth. He either cut the line or it came out. Was the hook still there? No, he bit clean through. Oh, bit man. Bit clean through. Those, those soup fin have very sharp teeth. And <laughs> that was a big one. Shark fishing in the San Francisco Bay with expert guide Captain Jason with long fin sport fishing had been quite productive. By the time the fight was over with the big one, she was too exhausted to fish. So she insisted the camera guy and Captain Jason fish. That's the easy way to release them. That's the easy way. We don't always have to pull them in the boat. The leopard sharks, they're just beautiful, beautiful animals. And although they taste good and they're good to eat, I, I personally practice a lot of catch and release and I encourage catch and release. A lot of my customers like to take a little home for the barbecue and that's fine, but these fish are great. I'm just gonna stress handling on the fish. If you're gonna release your fish, you really gotta be careful with your, when you're handling the fish. You get a good grip around the tail, a good grip around the head, that way the fish doesn't thrash around and hurt itself. I didn't even know there was a fish on it. I just reeled enough to check the bait. <laughs> the wind started to pick up and the fishing got even better. They weren't catching monsters. However, it was non-stop action. Oh, it's a oh that's something Good. got a little, That's got some weight to it there, baby. So the skin on these fish is real interesting. If you look at it under a microscope, it looks like they have millions and millions of little teeth that stick up. And if you run your hand this way, it's real smooth and real soft. But if you rub your hand this way, it's like Velcro or sandpaper, it just sticks. In fact, it's so rough that if you, if you brush your bare arm against it, it'll give you a raspberry to leave a rug burn on your arm. Those are pretty fish though, so strong. Then Jason hooks up with a stingray. He always stresses safety out on the water. He always suggests that when you hook up with a stingray or skate, unhook it outside of the boat and let it swim away. But today, he's decided to bring it into the boat to bring you a close-up of the stingray. They have they sting? a big spline right there. See it sticking up? It's got serrated edges around the edges of this. Oh, which make it very sharp. And they will slice you right up. Ah, come on, get out of there. Even though we brought in a stingray to show you guys, Jason always suggests. Leave it outside the boat, pull your hook, let the skate swim away. 
because those things could be, they, they're, they're big and they could be trouble on the boat. Try and just keep those outside the boat and pull the hook and let them swim off. Captain Jason has put them on the fish. They caught a ton of sharks, a stingray, a skate, and several dogfish. They even caught 30 to 40 pound leopard sharks and a 45 to 50 pound seven gill. It won't be long before Tammy schedules her next trip with longfinsportfishing.com.